All right, family. It looks like I didn't do too much. I didn't talk too long. So we're going to make this one quick, right? Make sure you see part one of the day. It will be 77171, right? Nia, 77171, right? And we're going to be talking about the Ashe breath, right? The breathing once again we have to re i got to refresh you on shit every now and then so tune in peace Alright, peace family. Yo, I like to welcome you once again to the Daily Toast. And this is the the the, the uh, discussion part. Well, actually, I do the talking, so it's not really a die discussion. It's, it's a um discussion, I guess. I, I don't know how the fuck you would say it. I, this ain't even a dialogue. Die is too. It's, I'm sharing information, and then I would love it if you would respond below, you know what I'm saying, um, those that want to take the Nguza the Cyber Challenge, I'm going to play something up here, alright, so that you can go on and you can start signing up for the Nguza Cyber Challenge, because what I'm about to talk about is the uh, the proper, the Ashe breath, the importance of the Ashe breath, right, um, and some of the possible benefits that you could receive by doing the eye shape breath, okay? So now, <clears throat> I need y'all to understand this. And I'm coming at you totally honest. And people have been robbing our culture for thousands of years and not giving a fuck. So, Brother Hatim does not mind culturally appropriating shit. I go out for my culture and I claim this shit is ours. I put a flag. I don't give a fuck if there was 3 billion people sitting right. I claim this shit as ours. Just like I did the week. Like the day is near. Right? I claim the week. I don't mind culturally appropriating shit. I'm just being honest with you. I take it. I'll clean it up and I'll bring it to you. Right? Now, whether you use it or not, that's your choice, family. But what I'm saying is, I don't mind going out and get this shit. Alright, so now, um, if you sign up for the Goose Saba Challenge, or if you go to my, um, if you go to the Gumroad page, gumroad.com forward slash Hatim H A number two T I M. You go down there and you get a video of the I shape breath, right? Where I show you the I shape breath and I also show you um the G salutation, right? Giami salutation, right? And with the I shape breath, the I shape breath is a combination 
of several breaths. All right, so we have pieces of what they call the bellows breath. We have pieces of what they call the, um, I can't think of the dude's name. Uh, it'll come back to me in a second. It's pieces of the fire breath. Um, it's pieces of, 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 of breathology in there. You know what I'm saying? And I just take it and make it culturally more appropriate for us. Right? Because the first element that we have to master is the breathing, family. Right? We got to get the breathing down. We're not breathing right. Right? A lot of our health issues start off with our breath. Then it then if then it cascades into the water that we're drinking or the lack thereof or the substances that we're drinking in place of water. Proper drinking, right? Culturally appropriate drinking. What's a culturally appropriate drink, right? Water, especially spring water. Substances that we make, right? And I ain't talking about no goddamn Kool-Aid. So if you think Kool-Aid is something you make, no, family. Stuff we make, right? Learn to make your own ambrosia. Learn to make your own wine. Learn to invest time in developing stuff to fuel you, family. That's all I'm saying. Right? Because these these are these are necessities. These are necessity businesses. Right? A lot of y'all don't see the necessity of ambrosia yet, but you will. Right? A lot of y'all don't see the necessity of of a family being able to produce its own wine. But you will. Right? A lot of y'all don't see the necessity of of, of a family being able to produce the bomb pickles and the bomb kimchi type shit, you know, pickle cabbage and pickle beets and shit like that. Y'all don't see the benefits of that, right? And y'all don't see the benefits necessarily of a family being able to grow the bomb cabbage and to grow the bomb spinach and to grow the bomb um, um, uh, 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 beets and, 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 and be able to um, have land to have beehives so that they could produce their own honey. See, these are small cottage industries that can propel us if we use them amongst ourselves to the next level, right? What's the next level? We can establish a small economic platform that we can stand on so that we can start paying for the political connections to make sure that we're able to hold on to what we got. I need y'all to understand. If we're going to operate in the American system, we need political power. If we're going to operate in the American system, we need economic power. Right? Because with economic and political power, we can make everything else work for us. We can make the education system work for our children. You know what I'm saying? We can make... We can make the uh, uh, private sector work for us, right? But it all starts with us doing trade amongst each other. And there's certain things that we as a family decide that we are only going to get from us, right? Culturally appropriate actions. Culturally appropriate. And this right here could be produced by us. Beets can be produced by us. Cabbage can be produced by us. Honey can be produced by us. We can make a connection and start importing certain things from Africa that are culturally appropriate for as far as skin and far as eating. That we can start business with another sector and develop a... a a strategic relationship with the family over in, in Africa. See, we got to be thinking on a cultural and then a nation building level because if we're going to do that, you know what I'm saying? We always need allies, family. You know, we always need allies. So y'all need to understand, Brother I Tim is on a, I'm, I'm on a high right now, right? And it's like I'm, I'm seeing shit, right? I'm seeing the connections. So, I don't mind coach going all the way back. I don't mind culturally appropriating shit, turning around and using it for us. I don't. 
because everybody else can think about it. People don't mind culturally appropriating your goddamn money. Go to the corner store. Tell me, do they, you know, ah, oh, nah, nah, that's your money. I need you. You need to spend that in your No. No, spend that in your community. No. No. Everybody is making a come up and has made a come up all for you. And I'm just saying, family, it's time for us to make the big comeback. We need to make the big come up off of us. All right? So, you know, um, one day soon, as the numbers start growing, and people start really understanding the shit that I'm talking about, um, and really start form formulating tribes, then we'll be able to trade in between these tribes. Just a small trade. All right? We got ambrosia. Y'all specialize in pickled cabbage. You know what I'm saying? Not just plain old pickled cabbage, but that that culturally appropriate pickled cabbage. And then we got a whole nother clan over here, a whole nother tribe over here who specialize in making bottles. Like, well, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? Y'all making bottles? Yeah, you know. We done went out and we done bought the... Uh, software and we could design the bottles for you you know what i'm saying we got that 3d printing going on over here and we produce producing a very basic shit so you want bottles you give us bottles and we formulate a trade amongst each other that's preparing us for the international level fam but hey that's neither here nor there all right here we go so today we're talking about me brother high tim going out and culturally culturally appropriating this breathing, right? You know what I'm saying? Because we had it. But first off, as I always stress, breathing is all about the nose. We talked about the nitric oxide, right? To come out when you breathe through your nose and it releases a chemical, it cleans the air, right? As it comes in, it warms it up, it cleans the air. It releases nitric, nitric oxide into your system, which goes down and opens up your veins, which allows the blood to flow a little bit more fuller, right? So, so just breathing right. But breathing through your mouth, right? You got just as much business breathing through your mouth as you got eating through your nose. Let me say that again. You got just as much business eating through your mouth I mean, you got just as much business breathing through your mouth as you got as eating through your nose. Would you eat through your nose? Well, if you won't eat through your nose, then why is you going to allow yourself to breathe through your mouth? I know a lot of y'all do because my mouth is how I've been breathing. But that's wrong. You have the perfect, perfect mechanism for breathing right here. All right. So now. So, we got, uh, what is it, Wilm Hof. You have the Wim Hof breath, you have the fire breath, you have the bellows breath, right? You have all these, right? Then, Brother Hatim come. And I'm like, shit, give me that. Give me that. Give me that, right? So now, go to Gum Road, get... The Ashe breath. And let me explain to you what's happening when you do Ashe breath. When you do an Ashe breath, the first part of Ashe breath is you doing rapid, rapid, bleed, rapid, breathe, rapid breathing through your nose. Say that 10 times fast. Rapid breathing, rapid breathing, rapid breathing. All right? And, and it's coming in, right? And you're working the parts of your body you need to work because this works the gut. Because we constantly talk about you talking about gut health. So this help you, helps you Get your gut into shape, right? This helps you get your gut healthy because you're bringing in a number one killer of bacteria and yeast, especially those that don't belong. You're bringing in oxygen in high, rapid amounts, right? Boom, you do the breathing, right? But the second part of it is that you are also meditating, in a sense, on the word I say. So with each inhalation you sing ah, and with each exhalation you sing she in your mind, not in your mouth, 
in your mind so that you keep your mind focused and keep your mind culturally focused, right? Boom, 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 boom. And you're forming a circle. Ah, shay. Ah, shay. Ah, shay. And, and, and you get this wheel turning where you got this, where you got this constant thought going through as you breathe that boom, boom, boom. And you hold it for a certain amount of time. And then on the last breath, you blow it out and you hold. Now, that's where we're going to stop. Right there, right? So now, let's look. The benefits. The Ashe breath, the first part of Ashe breath, releases toxins, toxins and deposits from the lung, the mucus lining, blood vessels, and other cells. Expand the lung capacity and create increases vital strength. Strengthen the nervous system to resist stress. Repairs the balance between the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. And it strengthens the navel chakra because you're actually using your 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 um you're using your actual stomach, right, to move. Your your belly, your gut, you're using it to move. So it's also helping move those massage those internal organs increases physical endurance and prepares you to act effectively adjusts the subtle psychoelectromagnetic field of the aura so that the blood becomes energized reduces addictive impulses for drugs smoking and bad foods increases oxygen delivery to the brain Facilitating a focused, intelligent, and neutral state of mind. Boost the immune system and may help prevent many diseases. Because remember we talked about this gut. We're massaging the gut. We're allowing extra oxygen, oxygen to come in. Right? So the oxygen is, 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 is balancing out the system. It's allowing the blood to flow with more force. The blood is flowing with more force. You're generating a heat. With the, a natural heat within your body, which allows your body to sweat, which allows you to allow, to to uh, help toxins escape through your pores, as well as burning shit up. Family, listen, I'm not playing with this, right? And it promotes synchronization of the biorhythms of the body systems. Now, I don't know too much about all that, right? But let's look at some other some of the other statements. Now, none of this, I haven't found any scientific piece. I just found sites that talk about the breathing because we're going to get to the holding breath. All right, this one is a little bit even more farther out. All right, it's a 5 to 15 minutes will purify your blood and release deposits from the lung. Breathe deeply because you know who hates um, oxygen. Um, the ashe breath burns away disease, and they say karma. It stimulates the solar plexus right around here, as well as the navel chakra to generate heat and release natural energy throughout the body. Right? So actually, you could do this in replace of. Um, drinking coffee if you want to. Right? I like drinking coffee. I'm just, that's just me. Right? It strengthens the magnetic field of the body. Help you quickly regain control in stressful situations by getting you out of your ego and re reconnecting you to your higher self. Right? Synchronize your entire system under one rhythm. Now, what are we on today? If I'm correct, yep. The day of purpose. Rhythm. Gets the whole system working together. Not, see, because I mean, think about it. You got all these things, all these rhythms that you turn on the radio. It's about getting you into a certain rhythm, right? Mm -hmm. Watch videos, getting you to a certain rhythm. When you get to the work, get you. But this allows you to set a rhythm, which is basically a system or a cycle, a rhythm. Right? You are dancing to other people's rhythm. All I'm trying to do is get you to do it in your own life.
um, get you danced, getting you your entire system working on one rhythm, rhythm, promoting greater internal harmony and health. Can help you overcome addiction and cleanse you of bad effects of smoking, drugs, sugar, alcohol, and caffeine. Um, you can start substituting feelings of crave or cravings with the ashe breath. When done powerfully, the pulsating of the diaphragm massages the internal organs, thus improving the digestive system. Increases physical endurance when needed in exercise situations. Use in conjunction with the exercise and you will be a whole package athlete. Now, also sometime when I'm in a hurry and I can't do the Ashe breath, I'll do the Ashe breath combined with the G salutation. So you don't just have to be sitting to do this. You can walk and do this. Strength strengthens and balances your nervous system. All right. All right, so now they got five reasons. Of course, you know they're using a different name. They say it cleanses toxic air, excellent for respiratory problems, increases blood circul circulation, tones the ab abdomen, help with decision making. All right, now they're saying that if you're pregnant, don't practice this. They also say, hold on. All right, it should also be noted that um, when you practice an ashe breath, I'm calling it ashe, is not recommended for those who suffer from cardiac problems, hernia, and spinal disorders. In addition, those who suffer from severe respiratory infection, colds, and nasal obstructions. Now, if you start practicing before these, you won't get them. Should not perform this breathing and cleansing technique. Most physicians usually ask people who suffer from high blood pressure and diabetes to refrain from performing this breath technique as well, because they want to keep getting your medicine, your money, get, keep you getting your medicine, and keep you getting it, get, keep getting your money. Those with abdominal ulcers also should avoid performing the technique. If you are pregnant, you should not practice this type of breathing exercise. All right, so. I'm just throwing it out there, right? So now, let's get to the holding your breath, right? So now, there's a certain part of the whole ashe process where one, one, we strengthen internal muscles. Then there's another part where we, but in, during the strengthening of the other muscles and through another part, we do breath holding, right? And during the breath holding, we go through a pledge. So we have the Giami pledge, but you can feel free to formulate your own pledge or you can say your favorite Bible verse or whatever in your head but it helps keep the mind focused and not focus on necessarily taking a breath and allow your body to do the work that it's supposed to do because family a lot of us we we overdo everything so just like with our meals we become gluttonous with our air so we breathe in too much. So what us retaining our breath allows us to do, allows us to do, is to, to snap, to switch on the switch to where our body starts working and starts learning to release, go just go to its oxygen stores. Because a lot of times we're taking in air without without allowing all of the oxygen to be extracted from our blood. See, because what we need to start learning is that sometimes our body is always keeping something in reserve, right? Our body is always keeping something in reserve. So just because you get the urge to breathe does not mean that you necessarily need to take the breath, right? What this means is that your body is gluttonous and it's like, come on, we've been used to breathing like this all this time. Give me that breath. Now, what happens when we start learning to hold our breath? When we start learning to hold our breath along with doing the Ashe breath, we are able to shift our states of mind. Let me say that again. We are able to shift states of consciousness. Right? We are able to wake up at different levels. We are able to not only train our minds, train our emotions, 
harness our spirit, but we're able to guide our bodies. Because I want you to think about this. The more you practice holding your breath, the longer you could do it. And I'm not saying get in some damn water and hold your breath. What I'm saying is while we're doing this exercise, what starts to happen when you start realizing that you can hold your breath for a minute, that you can hold your breath for two minutes, that you can hold your breath for three minutes, that you can hold your breath for four and five minutes. And what starts to happen to the internal workings of your body, right? When you are able to not only hold your breath, but you're able to start burning unnecessary fat stores. What starts happening to you? What, what changes would have come in your life with you losing weight? Not just because, I mean, you're losing unnecessary pounds. You're becoming stronger. You're becoming slimmer. You're becoming smarter because you're giving your brain more oxygen. You're giving your brain more ox more access to oxygen that it didn't have before. You supercharging your body. Right? So, this is what I tell you. I'm just talking a little bit about the um, Ashe breath. And I am done. Right? We're under 30 minutes. Yay, marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. And I want to thank all those that's been tuning in. Sorry, I ain't been doing the blogs. I'm going to catch up. I'm going to catch up. All right. But, yo, this is Brother Hot Tim. Make sure you check us out at TIBJourney.com. And with that, I'm out. JamieJourney.com. Peace. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there. The fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you right there and for those that want more information about Jeremy journey go to our site it should be right about there